So quick video, I don't want to have confused viewers. I like to give objective information, I don't want confusion. If there's confusion, I want to clarify it. So I did a video the other day, the video is about who makes the best carbon bikes in 2013. It's Giant, Giant make the best, the data's there. Hate it or love it, whatever, the data's the data, the truth's the truth. Opinion's opinion, my bike's stupid, blah, 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 fact is fact. Giant make the best bikes. Some people said, Harley, you've changed your tune. You used to be, you know, you ride a bamboo bike. You can see my bamboo bike here. What's the deal with that? That's like a heavy bike, and now you're saying carbon bikes are better. I'm not saying they're better, but it depends what sort of riding style you want to do. If someone asked me, what's the best carbon bikes? That was a question. So I said, giant, man. They make the best, the lightest, and stiffest in the corner, pedaling bottom bracket, stiffest, etc. They make it. I'm not saying that, that you need to have like a super lightweight, like Freely, she rides the giant Avail Advanced SL, lightest production female road bike ever. But for the first few years, she rode a heavy alloy, a heavier alloy bike because you're gonna have a few crashes. You're gonna, you know, Freely on the first day of riding or second day of riding, she went up the gutter over the bars. If that was a lightweight carbon bike, you'd probably be snapping, snapping some shit up. So if you're getting a new bike and you're riding your bike to college or you're going to have your newbie crashes, getting a high-end lightweight carbon bike isn't the best idea unless you've got such a amount of disposable income that it doesn't matter if your bike snaps from a basic crash. So I recommend people get an a entry-level alloy bike to start with and ride that for a few years and then once you get your confidence up and your experience up, yeah, then go into the, the super lightweight carbon bikes. So I'm not saying that one is better than the other because everyone has a different riding style. You might be like a Strava addict like myself and you have a special bike just for Strava segments or whatever. Or you might have a lot of disposable income and just go, I can spend whatever, I want the best bike, give me a giant TCR Advanced SL with the ISP, whatever. So depends on your riding style, what is better? Do I really need a carbon bike? Do I need a super light? Depends. But don't get caught up, don't get paralyzed like a lot of people do, and they're going, until I get the best bike ever, I won't train. <laughs> I, won't, I won't enjoy cycling, it's not about that. Cycling is about having a properly fitted bike, a properly maintained bike, correct tire pressure, good seat height, stuff like that. Your local store can help you with that. That's what you want to focus on. And then yes, if you want to get more into it, then yeah, definitely get a super light carbon road bike or whatever. Like with Freely's new bike, she's just loving it. It's taking her right to the next level, but I wouldn't have recommended it as a first bike because of all the crashes you have and you know things like that. So does that make sense? I hope it does. So is carbon better than bamboo? Is alloy better than titanium? It depends. I've ridden all the bikes. I've got carbon, I've got bamboo, I've got alloy, I've got steel. I've had titanium. I've ridden all the bikes. Ultimate performance, I'd say in 2013, in the video, like I said, Giant TCR Advanced SL ISP. Not getting paid to say that. I don't work for Giant. Not getting paid. Nothing at all. I promote the best. Just like these grapes from a farmer called Passmore in South Australia. Best grapes right now in Australia, period. I'm not getting paid to say that because it's fact. It's fact. It's not my opinion. It's fact. The Giant bike is the best. So do you need that sort of bike? If you want the absolute best, then yeah. But if you're just getting into ride riding, you might get a giant Defy one or something like that. Another great value bike that's very highly well engineered. Just had a friend get one of those. Great bike. Or you might want a bamboo bike because you want to promote a cause or something like that from Phil Webb. So it depends what you want and what your riding style is. So I hope that clarifies. So is carbon better than alloy? It depends. It depends on what you want out of a bike. So I hope that answers the question. Alloy, let's just clarify again. Alloy is gonna be more durable if you're locking it up at college and you're bashing it around or you're, gonna, you're living with housemates and everyone slams their bike together. If you've got a lightweight carbon bike, you're gonna chip it and scratch it and that can't be too good for the carbon layout. So alloy bikes can be better for that sort of style of riding. A lot of my viewers were gonna be suiting an alloy bike. If you want, you know, if you're having Strava battles and you want every second counts, then yeah, you're going to want to get one of these super light bling bikes, you know. If you are riding mostly mountain bike trails, you don't ever hit the road, you might want to get a 29er mountain bike, things like that. If you want to go touring, you might want to have a road bike that lets you have fenders or a bob trailer or whatever. So it depends 
on your riding style what bike is going to be best for you. So hopefully if you watch some of my videos, you understand the pattern I'm trying to promote there. So if there's any confusion, I want to clarify that. I want to avoid any confusion. I want to have educated viewers who can critically analyze and critically critique. Critically think, that's what I want. So thanks to the support, thanks to the viewership. What's the best road bike? Do I need a carbon super light? It depends. Peace.